And Natasha Jog has experience spanning over a decade and a half in risk analysis, prog program and project management and public speaking. In her present role at Facebook, she has successfully managed several high-risk projects, elections, emerging markets, crisis events and regulation and policy among them. And she has worked on key policy issues, engaging with influencers, civil society groups and journalists amongst other. May I request you ma'am to please share your thoughts with the house. Instead of telling students, and this is one of my favorite examples, having seen a small video which I wish I had got here to play, but students who were told, instead of being told what the dinosaurs were like, they were uh, put in an environment where it felt like they were walking alongside them. So entire science laboratories can be built and filled with equipment that most schools would typically likely not be able to afford. Medical students can practice complex surgeries without risk to patients or themselves. And this is the kind of work that we are doing at, at our most recently. We signed a, a, a memorandum of understanding with an arm of the Ministry of Electronics and IT, which is uh, India AI. And the idea of this is to establish a framework of cooperation uh, on AI. A few weeks ago, and I wonder how many of you noticed this, but we also released our second large language model called Llama 2, which is available for commercial use in partnership with Microsoft. Again, the idea being that India students, teachers, small businesses, entrepreneurs, researchers, and academics can use this financial model to build on it and, again, to unlock a whole host of new opportunities and really release India's potential. We have now released over a thousand models and AI databases and research data sets on not commercial licenses for researchers. Uh, Sir touched upon the new education policy and it really is something that can be both a disruptor and revolutionary and I think that that's the position and that that's where we see AI as well. So I think it really is uh, coming together. And we've really uh, worked on this. And our, we've got partnerships with CBSC. We've got partnerships with AICT. I'll take a few minutes to just talk you through them. The, our CBSC partnership aims to empower over 10 million school students and so very importantly, like you said, teachers, 1 million teachers as well, on AR and VR technologies. We've introduced digital citizenship and these AR, VR skills for children in grades 6 to 8 across 25,000 schools. To create a pipeline of future-ready developers on immersive technologies, we have this program called Creators of the Metaverse, which is a micro-internship and workplace experience program for students in colleges. This will target over 100,000 uh, students and 20,000 educators to become MetaSpark developers. Uh, our CBSC curriculum, if I could just go back to that for a minute because there's some interesting data that I've managed to get, which is 400,000 teachers and 1.8 million plus students, almost 2 million students have been introduced to cyber safety, cyber security, augmented reality, virtual reality and the metaverse through the curricula. Uh, there is an opportunity to make sure nobody gets left behind in all of this and there is uh, access and opportunity should be available to all which is why we have very consciously gone out and tried to democratize and make this technology inclusive as well. Over 200 Eklavia model residential schools which are under the Ministry of Tribal Affairs are also those who are receiving digital citizenship and AR VR training. Uh, I, I think at this point I'd just I'd like to wrap by saying that India's velocity of change really has been on the back of adoption of new technologies and it's inspirational. We are already uh, the third largest startup ecosystem uh, in the world and one that can use technologies like AI to further strengthen their digital governance and applications as well. When we release our large language models, we've seen a huge appetite in the country teachers, students, again, academics, businesses, researchers, etc., wanting to use these foundational models to build, learn, and of course, all of this also helps to create a stronger system, to create innovation, and a thriving ecosystem, really, which is great for everyone to operate in. So that's, uh, I'll wrap my speech, but for the moment, but uh, thank you so much uh, for listening, and thank you again for allowing us the opportunity to be here. Thank you.